Not bad for a rookie. Our cattle working facility got put on hold. Our AeroQuip squeeze chute is finally here. So we ordered it several months ago, but the way everything's been going, it takes forever to get anything that you order. She's a little heavy. So part one of our cattle working facility project was building the lane, which is over there on the side. It still needs some finishing touches, but for the most part, we've got our lane built. Part two, we're gonna concentrate on building us a bud box. So right here is the area we're gonna bring everything into. And we're basically gonna make a bud box to bring everything into the lane and down there to our AeroQuip squeeze chute. So we've been going through with some spray paint, kind of get some general ideas. Basically when we work all of our cows, we stay on this side, the squeeze chute will operate from this side. So we're gonna keep a lane open all the way down through here. So we're gonna have about a four foot section here that comes down to a gate. So this gate right here will allow us, once we get everything into our bud box, get things going down the lane. We've got easy access back and forth to our squeeze chute where we'll be working everything. So our first entry gate is up. We're gonna put us a post here. We're gonna go back this way with roughly a 12 foot gate. This is gonna be a pin here, and we wanna be able to move our cows easily from pin to pin. So we'll be setting up a 12 foot gate on this side. We don't typically use this side as much when we're working with our cows. So one 12 foot gate we think will be plenty. We got Farmer Hunt on the torch today. We'll see what he can do with it. There you go. Look at there, hold it up. My first square. Pretty good. Dang good, actually. What we need, four more? So we've got our metal cut out, I'm gonna show you why exactly we're doing this. So for, our, for our bud box to work, we're gonna bring the cows in, they're mostly gonna come from this way. Coming out here, there's gonna be a gate, and this is gonna be a pen. So right here, we're gonna hang a gate. It's gonna come right back to our alley. So we're gonna mount these pieces of metal here, roughly here and here, and we're gonna weld our gates back to it. Same way, we're gonna come right over here, do another one here and here. So we'll have two gates that are swinging off this wall, you can put them back flush to the wall, but when you close them, it's basically gonna be an extension of the lane. So this metal on the ends of our gates, this is how these gates hang. So this metal will be on the wall, we'll weld back to this, and then we'll put another piece of metal from here to here. So you're basically gonna have a V-shape welded on to this piece of metal here. It'll all make sense once we kind of get everything put together. So these are the these are the plates that we showed you we're gonna mount onto the post. We're gonna mount these, drill holes in them, mount them with lags. 
half inch by four inch lags. So we're gonna drill a hole with a press, put that with a washer through it, mount those to the six by sixes, and then we will weld our hinges onto this from our gate. At least that's what the plan is. So here goes nothing with a dull drill bit. Fits. Ooh. Hey, hey. That could have gotten a toe. Hello. Here we go. Hey. It's hard to beat. Milwaukee fuel. It's the best of my opinion. Eric finished up our first gate yesterday. So now you can see the V shape that I was talking about. He added this piece. This was not on the gate initially. So just gives you a little bit more support. So first gate is up and swinging. Cool little trick on this new 260. Comes with this little snazzy handy dandy remote, which is nice. It sounds crazy, but uh, When you're a long way away from it, or especially if you're working up high, cutting it on and off, you get tired. You get tired of hearing that thing run all the time. So, if you're working off and you got long leads and all that stuff, you won't be running back and forth. You're trying to talk, and cut it on and off. You can actually crank it and kill it with a remote. We'll see if it works. It's so quiet when it runs, you can't even hear it. That's good. If these things work, they're great. Take two. So to crank it, it actually shows you here. A little sequence. You gotta press and release it then press and hold it for three seconds and release and it'll crank and then you just basically hold it to cut it off so to crank press release press and hold for three seconds The bud box is slowly taking shape. So we've got our two gates hung up. So you can see we're gonna put post here and post there. It's been an extension of our lane. We may have to move this a little bit one way or another, but it was just there to kind of give us a general idea. So both of these gates can open all the way up. So we open it up and then as we bring the cows in, we can start to use it. We're gonna start forming up this section here, this section here. We've got a gate to hang down there. So 
we've still got a ways to go before the bud box is actually complete but it is starting to come together once we get it complete we'll show you how it's going to work and actually how it's going to work from both sides of our barn it's not just a one-way bud box We made a lot of progress today. The bud box is coming together. Eric has been welding up on this gate here. We've still got some welding to go, but you can see there's gonna be a gate here. This gate will have a slam latch here. This gate behind me here, which is one we've hung earlier, will also have a slam latch here. And then this gate will have a slam latch here. So we put in these wooden posts to make it easy. Those slam latches will work really well when we're closing these gates. We don't wanna to have to stop and chain everything. So that'll make it easy to close behind us. working on getting us a gate on this side of our bud box here. We've got kind of an odd size here. We want to put this prefrit gate. It's about an eight foot gate. We're working with a little over a nine foot opening. So we're going to drive a post, middle post right here, two and three eighths inch. We just cut it with the torch to length, cut it eight feet. We can't drive or can't get our driver on the front of the bobcat right here, drive a post. We've got a plate up above and it's too close to our barn. So what we're gonna do is, we've got our Titan T-Post driver. If you saw this on our other fence video, uh, driving T-Post, it's got a Honda engine on it. It is supposed to drive at up to a three inch diameter pipe. We're gonna put it on this post and see if we can't drive it in. Here she goes. Old Titan post driver, it came through for us. So our second part of the project is complete the bud box. First thing we did was the lane. You can go back and watch that video. 
We've still got a lot to do before we can work some cows and get them caught, but I'm gonna show you how this bud box is gonna work. So just pretend that the cows are gonna come in out here. This is gonna be our catch area. So once the cows will run six or eight in in front of me, this gate right here, I'll close it up. So once the cows are in, all the cows will go this way. So as I'm coming behind the cows, I'm gonna pull this gate behind me. It'll lock there. So a cow's natural instinct when they run into a wall is turn around. They'll come this way, I'll walk behind them. The cows will run into this wall and they'll try to go back where they came from. Well, I've got that gate shut, so once they start running into that gate, I can push this gate here, close it up. The only place they have to go now is straight down the lane and to our squeeze chute. So one thing that's a little unique about this bud box is you can work cows and calves from both directions and I'll show you. So we came in initially on that side. We also have a gate on this side that functions the same way. This is our lane that we built that comes in and out. So if we want to bring cows in, we're obviously going to bring them this way uh, from the lane or out that way. Well, we can bring cows in. I can close this gate behind me. As my cows come this way, just do the opposite. Close that one, walk around as the cows circle back, grab this gate and bring them on into my lane to the squeeze chute. So we built this whole area, our entire bud box is 12 feet wide. These are 12 foot gates right here and it's 40 feet long, which is the back side of our barn. Basically that's what's under the roof. So 12 by 40 divided up into what becomes three sections when you have all your gates closed. So in our experience working with cows, you don't ever wanna to have to climb over a fence and you wanna have different directions to send cows. So off of our bud box, we've got gates. So we're gonna have a pin down through there. Over here, this will be our walkway. So we're planning on building a lane straight down through there that the cows won't ever get into. So once we get our cows in the bud box, this goes into our lane and this will all be open. We'll have a pen back over here and so we've got another gate. So we've got all kinds of options for moving cows around, getting them from pen to pen inside the barn. We're also gonna have those options outside the barn. I would like to point out one thing about this bud box. Spent a lot of hours on it. I think we got it just about the way we want. Um, except for one thing. This post right here, which was one of Ben's main responsibilities, I'd like to show you. You know, he did a good job here. Post looks great, plum. First one he did, he was very proud of himself. This post here, I don't know if you guys need a level or not. Probably, uh, I'm guessing not. But all in all, a success except for this guy. Got anything to say about that one? You win some, you lose some. I'm pretty sure if you'll go back in the footage, this guy was driving the post. Listen, one important fact. With this post driver on a bobcat, you can't run the bobcat and be on the ground holding the post too. So, all of us need some good help, don't we? No argument there. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions about our bud box or our project, feel free to leave it down in the comment section. We're gonna be going that way with pins. We'll have more videos coming. If you wanna see our lane, go check out the video from a couple months back.
Yeah. And that's a wrap. Got a Yeti holder. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, look at that whale.